So, in 1989, Pepsi, so determined to get a leg up over Coca-Cola, made a deal with the USSR. In the Islamic faith, there's the Quran. It's the Islamic sacred book, just like Christians have themselves the Bible and Judaism has the Torah. The Quran is believed to be the word of God as dictated to the Prophet Muhammad. And it took, get this, 23 years for the entire book to be revealed to Muhammad. It's also Muslim belief that the first verses of the Quran were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad on the 23rd night of the ninth Islamic month. So again, in the Islamic faith, the number 23 matters a lot, meaning that those 23 pillars in the Minecraft ocean mine with the war effort in full swing, many farmers were getting enlisted into the military, thereby leaving the U.S. struggling with major agricultural labor shortages. As a result, the government introduced the Bracero Program, an effort to immigrate Mexicans to the U.S. in order to keep things running. But this also meant that men, women, and most importantly, their children were moved to the U.S. and thereby put into harm's way. And that, I suspect, is the sad origin of Elks. And the average home in the U.S. cost $211,000, and in 2020, their average rose to $383,000 as an 82% inflation increase, which is just wild to think about. In only 20 years, property prices have gone up by an average of $172,000. No wonder no one can afford to buy houses anymore. Sad realities aside, this does give us a baseline to work with. The original Animal Crossing by removing an apex predator from the ecosystem, suddenly the elk population exploded inside the park, and they began to overgraze. This then damaged the population of trees, which in turn lowered the number of birds that the area could support. It also made it so beavers were unable to properly build their dams, which caused higher levels of soil erosion along the riverbanks. The erosion and overgrazing impacted the plant life near the river that shaded the water, which combined with the lack of beaver dams, raised the water temperature beyond what the local fish could tolerate. The ecosystem was in a death spin. The only thing to stop the downward spiral was a reintroduction of wolves back into the ecosystem. And this is what I suspect happened between Minecraft Dungeon Dora and Boots, and the viewer, if you choose to participate, extend a handout and chant the words, Swiper No Swiping. You want to know what that resembles? An ex- The larger an animal species is, the more likely it is to favor quality of offspring over quantity of offspring. Smaller animals like insects, rabbits, and birds can afford to have a lot of babies at once, while larger species like whales, elephants, and rhinos are much slower to reproduce. The ender drag- The average male height of a human being is 5 foot 6 inches tall, 1.67 meters. The average Average female is 5'2 or 1.57 meters. Our crewmates in a how you handle your meat matters. Probably should have rephrased that one. Nope, oh, it's recorded. There's been a huge surge of research into what actually makes the best gamers. Finally, we're getting ourselves some scientific recognition. And one of the key things that studies have pointed to is raw intelligence. With so many players playing video games these days, there's a collective desire to find out the most elaborate and efficient strategies. That means that the amount of information you have to juggle at once is higher than ever before. I mean, feels like you kind of need a PhD in Pokemon battling just to be able to play versus battles online, let alone compete in real-life tournaments. Study from the University of York did end up showing a strong correlation between players who were best at MOBA games like League of Legends and Dota 2 and how they performed on IQ tests, with the most skilled players having the highest IQ scores. So if the top gamers are the ones with the highest IQs, which of our American presidents- Anyway, let's cheer things up a bit. Here's a cute picture of a sloth. Oh, he's such a cutesy. Oh, look at this guy. All right, back to crack. It needed to be something to replace it with. Enter spandex. Stretchy, breathable, shapeable, and not healthy to take down the Nazis. Change. Humans are able to process more shades of green than any other color, but not all greens are created equally. When you break down our biological sensitivity to light, our eyes work best at the light wavelength of 555 nanometers. That means that under normal lighting conditions, our eyes are most sensitive to a yellowish green color. In other words, during an emergency meeting, but it's important to understand why. Weapons like bullets are sometimes described as kinetic projectiles or kinetic energy weapons, and that's largely because they're dead comes from the kinetic energy, that is the energy of motion. If you paid attention in physics class, you might remember that kinetic energy equals one half mass times velocity squared. That mass part shouldn't be all that surprising. Getting hit with a heavy thing hurts more than getting hit with a light thing. Double the mass, double the kinetic energy, obvious logic is obvious. But the velocity squared part is what makes speed particularly deadly. Double the speed and you get four times the kinetic energy. Ten times the speed, a hundred times the kinetic energy. That's how a tiny bullet, despite being a lot lighter than your fist or a potato can be that much more lethal. It's traveling so fast. So to understand how much kinetic energy time- oh, Thank you for being there and thank you for helping to make December 3rd the single proudest day of my YouTube career. So now let's talk about pirates. Yeah.
One of the consequences of his theory was the concept of time dilation, or the fact that time slows with motion. The faster you move, the more difference occurs, and at speeds close to the speed of light, time practically stops. It sounds crazy, but it's been proven. Two synchronized atomic clocks were tested. One clock was kept on Earth, while another one was put into a high-speed plane and flown around for a while. When the plane returned, the clock was behind by exactly the amount Einstein's equations predicted. But when they resynchronized the clocks on Earth, they were still running at exactly the same rate. In other words, time had passed slower on the plane because of how fast it was traveling. Time had dilated or expanded. In other words, time travel is proven to be a real thing. Now look at Rosalina. This is up on the mountain chatting it up with God getting the Ten Commandments version 1.0. Everyone down below gets sick of waiting and decides, hey, let's make a golden cow statue and worship that because that's what you do for fun in a world without video games. Here are the pertinent quotes from Exodus chapter 32. When the people saw that Moses was so long in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, come, make us gods who will go before us. Aaron answered them, take off the gold earrings that your wives, your sons, and your daughters are wearing, and bring them to me. So all the people took off their earrings and brought them to Aaron. He took what was handed him and made it into an idol cast in the shape of a calf. Then the Lord said to Moses, go down, because your people whom you brought out of Egypt have become corrupt. So Moses went back to the Lord and said, Oh, what a great sin these people have committed. They have made themselves gods of gold. So clearly God ain't too thrilled that he's been replaced by a false idol, a golden cow of all things. So you think the golden bull mug is just a coincidence? Heck no! It creates a vortex ring, kind of like a smoke ring or mushroom cloud from a nuclear explosion. This vortex ring allows Pete to launch its spores at an incredible speed for such a small plant, discharging spores at up to six 65 miles per hour, 29 meters per second, in less than a thousandth of a second, that loyal theorists is some fast discharge, especially when considering that this plant is only a couple centimeters high. Now scale that up 30 times to a hundred million LED light bulbs. So the city is using 3.3 billion LED light bulbs of energy per year. According to the US Census Bureau, New York City has an area of 783.8 square kilometers. So dividing the total energy consumption by the total land area provides us with the average power density of the city, which comes out to be 42.56 watts per square meter. Multiply that by the area of New Donk City. And Iceland is essentially one giant volcano that's been constantly spewing lava onto its surface. And despite the myth that Greenland is icy and Iceland Iceland is green, Iceland is in fact very icy. An icy place can absolutely be volcanic. The two things aren't mutually exclusive. What makes a place volcanic is whether magma from Earth's center can make its way to the surface and erupt as lava. Meanwhile, something like a cold climate is determined by a variety of other factors. Things that are completely separate from whether or not there is a volcano in this location. Considering the nether's a close